right, here it is, Todd. I set up in the house. It's freaking rainy outside. Easier in here anyway. So the front, I think this is the front, has a big door. Like it opens up all the way. Stops down there. I get the zipper stop there. It's sewn right here together. Right there. Yes. You just open wide open if you want. And if I close that, then I can open up the screen. It's got like a... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but see this part here. From here down. That's a screen. So I can open that up there and let air in. Maybe it's the top part I can let air in. Hey, Moe. Wanna go in? It's, it's the bottom part. So the bottom part there and that bottom part there, right there. I can open that up to let air in. And then at the back, so this is, well, I can't get out of this side. This is the Four season tent. Poles look a little beefier. And these go in really nice. My um, Eddie Bauer, I really had to push and snap them in and these don't uh, take as much effort. Oh, and it comes with a footprint. This thing here is a footprint. So it actually comes with a footprint, a waterproof footprint. And there's the fly. I don't have a fly on. And then the back, it's a smaller door. And then the, this is nice here. See this? This goes like that. To kind of pull this tight here. So I can tighten that down like that. Hi, Mo. Hi, buddy. So this is a smaller door, it has a screen too. And then these are big screens here. So I can open them or close them. So in the winter, if it's really cold, I can shut everything up and keep all the heat inside. And then if it's uh, the summer, uh, I could open up all these vents and the side vents on this side and that side over there and the front vents. And then the fly is like my old Eureka that had those little vent things that you kind of prop up and has little holes so air can get in and underneath. So it looks pretty cool. Went up pretty easy. Just got this center hub and then it attaches up there. And then that's it. And then uh, it came with a couple of other, see those little gray things right there? There's two gray meshy things and they... They connect up here somewhere so that you can like throw wet clothes up there or something, but there's a lot of room in here. I don't know if I can, it's hard to tell, I guess, on video, but. So if I go in. Ooh. So I'm sitting in here and I still have, I don't know, six inches above me here. So these come down like this, like that. Hi, Mo. So this lets all kinds of air in, or I can zip them back up. And then here's the door. Hey, I'm all. Like that. So there's two zippers there, and I open this way and this way. Yes, I know, honey. Okay, get out of the way. Uh, here's the screen part. Like that. Let some air in. I can just roll it up and tie it in there. So I can let air in. So it's good. Should be great in the summer. Lots of places let air in, and then if it's cold, I could zip it all up and be pretty warm. There's that other door here, a little one. And then the vestibule on the fly, uh, one is bigger than the other. Um, so. I don't know if it matters where you put the big one or the small one. I would think I put the big one at the back only because I could store more stuff at the back and wouldn't be in my way when I'm trying to get out. So this is it. Pretty good. There we go. Pretty good. So that's it. I'll let it uh, air out for a bit and then I'll pack it back up. It's a pretty small container, so a little package, so it shouldn't be any deal, big deal.
I don't even know if I'll use that floor piece uh, because we have our blue ones. I don't know if I'd want to wreck. Well, I guess that's what it's there for. I don't want to wreck it, but that's what it's there for, I guess. There it is. Eureka Mountain Pass 3. And Mo likes it. 